all the students uh, who are viewing this uh, uh, program. And I am Sintil Kumar. Uh, I am working as an assistant professor at uh, an engineering college, Chennai. And I am just going to deal about a paper that is uh, engineering graphics. Uh, it's called drawing or graphics. You can call it as both the way, which is for first year. Uh, basically, I would like to differentiate between what is a drawing and an art. In general, uh, uh, we, we speak about an art means right from the school days. An art is something, I can say I will draw a, a picture of a sun. You know, the sun rise and sun fall, something like that. And you can draw a picture of uh, any tree. Okay, then something like this, and a house, which is a hut. So this is called an art. It's called an art, and the person who does this is an artist. That's what we study. But the difference between art and drawing is, it's drawing. Drawing consists of Basically, first thing is dimension. Dimension it is. In the sense, I would like to tell that I am Santil Kumar of an height 100 and say suppose 175 centimeter. That is my height, okay? And my weight has to be say suppose 70 kilogram. So, this is an unit either for the height or for the weight, right? So this dimensioning is something, say for example, I will be just drawing the picture of this board. This board is normally just like this, it is a rectangle. How do I say this is a rectangle? It should contain a length, right, and a breadth. So this length may be, I say this is 5 centimeters, for example, and this width will be, say, suppose 2 centimeters. So I have to give a specific dimension for this length as well as width. This becomes drawing actually, fine. So this art is something we imagine, we imagine and draw, that is your imagination. This is also an imagination to an extent, but with a dimension 100% required for drawing. Okay? That's how I go about differentiating basically what is art and drawing. In the sense of the school days what we studied is an art and drawing with the, with the help of dimension. It is compulsory. Right? Okay. Uh, now, uh, I will start with the unit number 2. Right? So oh, this is an unit about something called projection of points, okay, the first topic and number two is the same thing, projections of lines and number three projection of planes and before going to this particular specific topic I would like to say generally we have two types of planes to draw a diagram that is for example I would like to explain about a sketch say for example a rectangular box is there how do we view a rectangular box? Rectangular box is in two kinds, I can view it. One point is I will have this is an x axis and this is an y axis. I can draw that rectangular box in x axis, the length of the box will be can be drawn in x axis and the height, it is not height actually, it is the width 
of the box I can draw in the y axis. To specifically indicate or to say the z axis is also required which means we are giving the thickness because a box will contain a length, a breadth and thickness. That thickness cannot be shown or drawn in the board because board is a two dimensional view. Why it is that? This is suppose this is a vertical side and this vertical side I will take it as this y axis ok and this horizontal side that I may say this is an horizontal flow, no, this horizontal side basically. This horizontal side I can take it as x axis. Now how do I draw a rectangle here between this vertical and horizontal side? I will draw a rectangle like this. So I will be able to draw only in x axis as well as in y axis only, right. That means the z axis is actually there because when we see through the naked eye, we see this stock piece what? The length we know, the width we know and the thickness also we know. But this thickness cannot be drawn in the border because this is a two dimensional paper. I can say it is a paper, white paper you think. A white paper is a plane, like this, this is a plane, a board is a plane. So this view is only x and y axis, right. So I this call it as a two dimensional view, two dimensional sorry view, it is called 2D view, right. This 2D view is always explained because we can define only x and y axis, right. Now I can take an another example to say that this view a drawing in a sheet because we are drawing at in a sheet only right because you take a paper what is a normal paper it is an A4 size sheet okay this paper will be like this okay this sheet normally this A4 size sheet is the length will be more right the length is what say suppose I say this is 1 feet that is 1 scale you know 1 scale 1 scale length that may be 30 centimeters, right? And this width will be say half of that, okay? 15 centimeters, right? So this 30 centimeter and 15 centimeter in this paper, I would like to draw a circle, a square, a rectangle, a triangle, whatever it is. And as you know, something we called a polygon. I hope uh, we have studied in or plus 2 syllabus, is not right? All as we have studied. A polygon is something which denotes a side. Say for example, basically I will say I have square like this. A square has got 1, a 2, a 3 and 4 sides, okay. A rectangle also same 4 sides but the length of x axis is more and y axis is short. You agree? Yeah. So this becomes like this. So like this, we can go for a circle, a triangle, a whatever it is. For example, if I want to draw this a square in this A4 size sheet, you know your normal notebook paper is an A4 size sheet, how will I draw this square I am going to start. Where will you start? You can even draw from this corner of the paper, you know left bottom most paper. In the board I will say this is the corner most or right side this is the most of the corner, yeah. So I can start and draw a square exactly here. This square may have uh, say suppose 1 centimeter, I will draw I'll show it here separately, you know a square of 1 centimeter to 1 centimeter. We know that common, yeah. So this may be here or I can draw this square where here, center, anywhere it is. So for anything we draw, we need x and y axis. So I, this we have to call in terms of drawing, it is called as planes. Planes means it should be either a vertical plane which is based on y axis and a horizontal plane which is based on x axis. Otherwise I will say, for example, you consider this board as a vertical plane 
and where is my horizontal plane? Horizontal should be x axis. This is horizontal plane. But what happens actually is this vertical plane, I can even may show in a hand. You kindly see this. This is a vertical plane. Horizontal plane, this floor is like this. Right? So what will happen? This horizontal plane is actually 90 degree, it makes a difference. Right? Because this to this to this vertical wall to floor we have 90 degree difference. I can write this line as like this. This makes an angle of 90 degree. Right? So this becomes x and this is y. And actually in the paper you are going to draw in what fashion? Can you show this horizontal line which is in this fashion? Not possible. That means we are rotating this horizontal plane to 90 degree. Yeah? That means this 90 degree horizontal plane is been rotated to like this. It comes down, it goes to a line like this. It becomes flat. That is actual. Because here I am drawing, I will take the center point is my say axis. Say like this. X I will put here and I will put Y line here. Why? It is a combination of your X and Y axis. Because actually this is like this. Say suppose all like this. Your X and Y, I mean X and Y. This has been rotated like this because you are drawing it. In the paper is like, you cannot fold a paper and show that I have drawn like this. Because bottom is an horizontal and top is a vertical. Not possible. You have to show it only by this. Now I will do some view I have to draw it in the top. Some view I draw it in the bottom. Is that why? Because I say, you look at me. Okay? You can see my face here. My body here. Where will you view my top of this head? This place. Where will you view? That means, to actually to say, you know, you can, you have to come to this position. Your eyes have to, it's, you are called a viewer. You are viewing me. You have to come to this position. And from the top, when you see, you will say, sir, your head is Maybe this is an, you know, breadth and this is the length. This is what you are going to see. Like this, for example, any object can be viewed in both the sides. I mean, front view and top view. Of course, you can ask me, sir, we can we view it in the, this side, you know, left side or right side view. Is it possible? Because I stand like this. This is my right hand, my left hand. So this becomes my left side view, right side view. But the problem is, if you come to this place and see my body in this area, okay, where will you draw this picture? You see through me here, my face, you want to draw it, where you are drawing, you are going to draw it in the board. It is in the paper. How you draw? You just put a face, a circle, something like, you put my two eyes, yeah, like this, and my nose, something, you know. It looks very funny, right? That will be like this face, my length of the body, all this becomes my front view. My top view, what is top view means? What I have in top of this. When I stand like this, you can, when you come, you know, you will imagine your own body, you can think. You see from the top, you see my head. After head, you can see some part of my shoulder. See, this is my shoulder. This portion, you cannot see from there. because You can see only this portion, not this. This you have to come and See from here, that the viewing point is top. So like this, so the front view is in one direction. The top view is in the other direction. What I mean to say, you, my front view, you are looking at, will be always drawn in only in the vertical side. Can you get me? See the front view you see is only can be drawn here. Can you draw my front view in the horizontal plane? I mean to say in the ground? Not possible, because you are viewing through here, you have to draw here. Right? Because you know, in generally you say you need something to draw a picture. You need a wall to draw a picture. That is a saying, right? Right? Find that. that one. So, you are drawing my front view in the board. My top view, when you see from this top, where will you draw this figure? You have to draw it in the bottom. I mean in the ground. This ground becomes my horizontal plane. So, I will say, uh, okay, this ground is my horizontal plane, HP, horizontal plane. And my front view, this one, will be my VP, vertical plane. Fine? 